What's up guys? Welcome back to the Feasy Built channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking this subframe out and getting that stuff all prepped like we were talking about before. If you made it back after doing the undercoating on the car, thank you so much. I've, uh, I've noticed that we started getting some pull. We're getting more subscribers. We're almost at 50. But I have a big announcement to hopefully kind of push us to the next level. So let's go upstairs and check it out. This is our little loft area. So, to get monetized, we need about a thousand subscribers. We need 4,000 hours of watch time. And to get that kind of support, I feel like I should be giving back to the community. Giving back to the people that are giving to me, making my dreams happen and making this possible. So with that all being said, here is what I think we're gonna do. At a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, the minute that we get monetized, I want everybody to comment hashtag Feasibilt on that video. That is gonna get you an entry, no money, no nothing needed, just showing your support, just being there for us, you know? And we're gonna do this all the time, every milestone we hit. My heart's pounding, but uh, so here it is. We have a, uh, a, a 3582 uh, journal bearing turbo. I mean, it's pretty basic, but this turbo cost me 250 bucks and we've had great success with them all the time. It's a nice turbo. They're hard to get. I know some of you guys out there are, you know, one piece away from your build. You're about to be done. This is something that you really need. You know, it has anti-surge housing and I'll send out a, a turbo blanket too. It won't be this exact turbo. You'll be getting your own turbo in a brand new box. You'll have to, the winner will have to send me their address and I'll be shipping this directly to you. I'll buy it and have it shipped directly to your doorstep. Uh, like I said, there's no, you don't have to put a single dollar down. All you have to do is subscribe and follow with us on our journey. You know, this is something we're gonna do all the time and the prizes are gonna get bigger and better. You know, we'll have, ball bearing turbos, Garrett's, all that kind of stuff. Because I notice a lot of these YouTubers, one thing that they do is they take and they take and they take, but they never give back. And I don't want to be that guy. So for the little guys, you know, I want to, I want to give back and help make builds happen, maybe sponsor people. You know, I don't have all the time in the world, but I work, I make good money. And this is something I feel like I need to do. So, and that being said, <clears throat> there's also going to be a second and a third prize or third place prize so that you know it's not just one guy getting it this is pretty basic this is like a forty dollar palm sander this one's brand new still have the box i just did this for a little review and i'll ship out probably a fifteen dollar gift card gift card to wherever you want or if you don't want this item maybe i'll just ship you out a fifty dollar gift card you know and third place i'm going to send you a sweatshirt and a sticker you know now this is all free this is just for you helping me and for me giving back to you guys so you know, all we have to do is hit a thousand subscribers. So share, 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 try to get us out there, try to get us known. And uh, so let's get back to today's project. I just wanted just to reveal this to you guys. Okay, here we are guys. We're about to remove the subframe. But one of the first things that I like to tackle it's just coming in the interior. There's a clip here. It's got to come out. There's a hose clamp style deal up here and there. We're going to remove this little plastic assembly and get that out of our way. And underneath there is going to be a 12 mil bolt that we got to remove. That's going to allow us to remove the, uh, the little yoke that goes into the, uh, the steering column. That's one of our first things that we're gonna have to do kind of tucked up here and on much space i'll make sure to have adequate lighting for all this but for right now this has just got to work here i'll go over to the other side <clears throat> we're gonna have to remove a few bolts but we're gonna try to keep everything together so that we can pull it out as one unit there's a bolt up in here that we need to remove on both sides there's a couple bolts here that we need to remove underneath the subframe that hold it up to the chassis itself um, 
We need to make sure everything's out of the way. It's kind of basic stuff. I'm, I'll, I'll go more through it as I get to actually unbolt in things and getting the lights laid out so you guys can see what's going on. But like I said, it's pretty simple. We're gonna try to pull it out in one unit. We're just gonna use the jack. I'm here by myself right now, but I got a couple friends coming over. So, you know, I don't know how much audio there's gonna be in the next couple clips. You know, we're just gonna be getting after this. Once we get this out of the way, we can completely tear down the engine bay. That's like one of my first things that I, I've never, I never do this, but I need to. So you can properly paint everything. You'll see what I'm talking about. When this gets out of here, there'll be spots that I completely missed that you couldn't see with the motor in there, so I didn't care prior. But now we're trying to make this perfect. So it's something we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to pull the brake lines and everything off the firewall. Pull the, fi the wiring and all that out of here. Just basic stuff, guys. You probably already know it, but maybe you don't. So I'm just kind of going over everything that we're going to have to do. A lot of these bolt holes, you know, are we, we're not going to use ever anymore. But we're going to leave a couple for just options, boost controllers, little things that might need to be bolted up around the uh, engine. That way we don't have to add them later. But other than that, we're going to try to remove the majority of everything. Um, this body, I can't, the body filler and stuff here, I just sanded that down and I think I'm going to leave it like that. I was thinking about stitch welding it, but I don't know. We might, we might have stitch welding done. I just don't have the proper power out here. And we'll be getting back into this eventually one day anyways. This car just gets tore apart all the time. So with all this being said, I think all I'm going to do here is start pulling bolts. Maybe put you guys on time lapse underneath there. If I can get a light worked out and everything so you can see what I'm doing and get this guy yanked out and then we'll see what we're what we're looking at after that and what we're gonna do so uh, once again thank you guys for watching the videos I, I really can't stress how much to you guys how much subscribing supports the channel and it's gonna help the growth it's gonna help us buy audio equipment it's gonna help us get video equipment it's gonna help us build more projects, get a bigger shop, do all kinds of stuff, and it's gonna take time. And I'm willing to put the work in, but I need you guys to be back, back in, you know, because this actually takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of courage to put yourself on film and out there for the entire world. So I hope you guys realize that. And you know, the people that you're that you're watching already that have a million subscribers it still means the world to them for you to like and comment and let them know that you know you support their content so if you don't do that you know you probably should because they're putting a lot of work into something that you know it took them years to develop so with all this going on right now i'm just going to get going and um thank you for watching so let's get all right update guys i lied um it's been a while so last time i did this it was me and my buddy and honestly he did a lot of the work so this little sleeve that comes off there's just these clips right and they just kind of push over they're not super hard to get off you don't need any special tools to slip over <laughs> so you can literally just kind of pull them off with your hand and then there's a little interior clip one of these guys at the bottom and that's it that holds that guy on and then it's not a 12 mil it's a 10 mil and you can see now that it's all exposed where the bolt is gone. That's where that 10 mil comes out. Once you drop the subframe, that all comes apart. So it's pretty easy. You don't have to pull the whole yoke apart. I think that's how we did it before. But you can see it'll just kind of pull out. Pretty simple. So I just figured I'd go back over that real quick with you guys. So I wasn't lying and nobody called me out. I didn't, I didn't even figure it out until I started digging into it. So once again, we get back into digging into actually unbolting my subframe. All right, so got the jack up underneath, stabilizing this thing, making sure it's not gonna fall on my face. You have to loosen this bolt, this bolt, that one, that guy, one up underneath here, and that is it other than the steering column. Repeat on the other side, these are all free but not completely. That way it doesn't fall or strip. Jack supporting it. So next clip, I'm just gonna put an impact on these, zip them off, probably be on time lapse, take this thing down and get it out of my way. All right. So there it is.
guys got the subframe out. Like I said before, it was just, I don't know, eight bolts or something like that and the steering, steering rack bolt, pretty simple. Drop the whole system. Now I gotta yank this guy out and start pulling it apart so I can paint the subframe housing. Check out my steering rack, which is actually in really good shape, so. But I just ordered new inner and outer tie rods and uh, tubular upper control arms for this thing. So those will be coming in the mail and this is just gonna be beautiful. It's gonna look brand new. It's what the car deserved. I'm gonna be going to a NSX style caliper on the front with Mini Cooper big rotor. Just, I like big brakes, if you can't tell. But um, it's all really cost effective stuff that you can just get off the line and you don't need some big brake kit from Brambo or anything like that. Like, from my experience, at least they work perfect for me. But that was pretty much it. No, I'll probably do like a little video covering, tearing this stuff apart and getting it pulled out. But I have a couple friends here, so I'm just gonna hang out for a little while and work on this thing. So thanks for watching. So here we are guys. We had, uh, I think the last clip, we pulled this subframe out and we slid it out the side, right? So now we got it on bench, which is really easy to service. And I'm, I got new inner and outer tie rods coming, like I mentioned before. So I just went ahead and I'm gonna use this as like a, a place to hold it down so it's not trying to roll away from me as I pull these off. I thought I'd go over this really quick and just do a quick scene um, on how to, how to pull these off. If you have it on a table like this, you don't need a, the tool. But if you don't, it's on the car. There's actually a big tool that slides over and you'll have to pull off the outer tire rod to uh, access it. But anyways, in my case, I didn't need that. All I did was pull the clip. Actually, let's show, let's show you this. So if you've seen these clips before, I've broken so many of them and I never even, they were never clean enough for me to see how they actually come apart. See how it's like a zip tie, it kind of slides into these, into those channels, right? So after you get those, pulled on or if it's on there already there's these little tangs on the side that fold over these would fold over both sides to hold that in place all you do is take a flathead and plot pry those apart on both sides and then you can pull this out and now will let the boot slide back for this one you just get a little flathead underneath of it kind of pry and shimmy it off until you get it out of the way that way you can move this up and down and access the uh, inner shaft of the inner tire rod which let me i got me only got one hand to do this so it's kind of hard but once you get to that guy you can see it's just got kind of squared corners i didn't have a big enough wrench but you could use a box and open end wrench but i don't know what size it is of course because i just use a pair of pliers to get them off but they're not very tight they're really easy to get off so after you get both of those off you unbolt bam 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 and your whole steering rack will come off in one piece the only reason i'm doing all this is because i got to paint all this and i'm servicing everything so i might as well anyways i'm gonna pull the lower control arm off that's this bolt and there's two up here that you've seen me get before or four bolts that hold this whole rear bushing and assembly in so i'm gonna quit rambling i'm just gonna put you guys on time lapse and you're gonna be on that little mount over there as I just tear this apart. And then I think that's gonna be it for the night after this is all torn apart. You know, my friends took off and it's getting late. I'm hungry, so I'm ready to go home and just eat some food. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Remember, subscribing is an, literally an entry into getting that turbo or getting a gift card or the sweatshirt. You know, one way or another, that's gonna get you something, so. Hopefully you guys pick up on that and subscribe and tell your friends, your family. We got a bunch of big content coming. I'm getting way more comfortable with the camera on me. I'm getting more equipment. And uh, I just think this is gonna grow into something really great. And I just wanna take as many of you guys along with me as I can. This has been awesome so far and it's opening another door in my life and kind of helping me come out of my shell a little bit. I don't have a whole lot of friends. I don't know a whole lot of people. So I'm hoping that this is something that I can just express to people and show them you know people that share the same interests uh what i do and so like i said i'm gonna quit rambling get back to what i'm doing and thanks for watching so far
these bolts busted free. I'm just going to come through and the, the 17 mils. This side of the rack is 17, this side's 14. I'm going to take out the bottom ones first so I'm not putting any kind of weird pressure on the bolts. There's that guy, a little short guy. Pull this guy. Two little short bolts are the 14s, the two 17s seem to be big guys. So we got our two 17s, our two 14s out. There's our steering rack. Pull this, put this out of the way, because that needs to be pressure washed and cleaned up. Now, my engine mount is two 14s and one 16 because I'm using one of the bolts that came with the kit for the mount. These are Rev9 solid mounts, they're like 75 A's. I highly recommend them. They're cheap, they're just as good as Innovative or any of the others. And uh, we run them on all of our cars, zero failure. Never, the pulley never slips, none of that kind of stuff. So, Got our engine mount out. Now we got fully slower control arms. Like I said, the other two bolts are, or four bolts out of the end are already out because we had to pull the subframe out. Put an 18 on there on accident. There's that control arm. Add our way. It's still pretty tight. We're going to put our 17 mil back on our half inch wrench. Yeah, she's a. Uh, Definitely in there. So what we're going to try to do is support this control arm. See if it's just putting unnecessary pressure on it. Just never been pulled off by the boys and girls. Heat to the back side of this guy. Just keep on going. No, I did. Let's get in there. We're going to spin forward. I guess that could have just been unnecessary pressure being put on that propeller. So. Nope, no such luck. So, I'm gonna have to get you guys off of there and show you here in a second, but there's a hole here where my torch flame should be able to reach the back side of this nut. I'm going to heat that up. should make it come right out. Investigate the threads and make sure that there's nothing super messed up. You know, that's a big deal. I don't want to be putting on, taking off trash parts. These little cuts around the bushing. Got to pull the end cap and the bushing out. I need to put new bushings in there. I'm going to get right back to you guys though, so. Whoops. GoPro, stop. 
All right, well, just as I suspected, some heat really did the job on that. Here, let me, uh, I'm gonna flip this guy over. Show you the hole I went through. Oh God, timber. Everything just went crazy all at once. This hole right here, it's hard to see without any light in there, but there's a nut welded on the back side of that. So there's the nut inside there, and there's the hole. You just put your torch in through there. That's what the hole's for, and heat it up. Penetrating oil, whatever you have. If you got time to wait, I just used a torch. Um, the threads on the bolt are slightly beat up, so I'm probably gonna replace that guy. Either that or just go over it with a thread chase and make sure that I'm not gonna put something bad in there. But look at how crusty, disgusting, this old, you know, this thing, I'm 27. This thing's uh, yeah. a year younger than me. So. 26 year old piece of metal. Sorry about the loud bang. I only got one hand free. So, but you see all the overspray and all the gnarliness and all the grime and everything from just years of build up and me working on the car and the lower control arms. You know. Uh, this outer piece, you can replace these bushings with energy bushings, and this has nothing, unless it's bent, has nothing to do with your suspension, like uh, bushing-wise, other than that guy. So you keep this, you replace this lower control arm, which nowadays they have aluminum built aluminum ones, just like you'd use in the rear, with good poly bushings. So that's what I'll be doing, and I'll be painting this whole back course probably tomorrow after I get done helping some friends. I'm going to come back in here and start prepping all these parts for, for paint. Sorry, everything is trashed right now. I've been tearing my car apart. But the spindles, the forks, all that good jazz. We'll get new chassis paint on it to just have that beautiful gleam on it. And like I said earlier, the newer tube, tubular control arms, it's, ah, it's going to look so good. And it's going to perform even better. And I'm super happy about that. So... Um, I just figured I'd drop this clip in at the end of this video and kind of sum it all up for you guys. That way you can see what I was doing today. So, subframe out on the table, completely disassembled. All the bolts are going to be cleaned up, everything is going to be gone through. The steering rack's in beautiful shape. No need to replace that, so just clean up and get all that jazz done. I've been rambling a lot of this video, so. Just let me know if you liked it. Like I said, thousand subs, you know, we have that giveaway. So let's make this happen, guys. And I think the next milestone will be 2,500 or 3,000 subscribers. And I have a big plan for that. So let's make this happen. Let's do this together. Let's be a team. And I am so glad to be on board with all you guys. Thank you for watching. Catch the next video.